happy Sunday. I hope you're having an awesome day. Carrie Marie here. And I'm just wondering, do you happen to kind of struggle a little bit on Monday mornings? You know, feel like you're scrambling around or maybe even scrambling around all week long, like you can never seem to be catching up and everything like that. Well, I would like to share with you five tips on making your Sunday night your power night. And so what that means is if you start Sunday night as your power night, that you will have a great coming week. And of course, this week's a little off for us here in the US because of Thanksgiving being this week, so we don't have quite as long of a work week as we usually do. But this will be super helpful to start doing this week when it is a shorter work week and then implement in coming weeks to make sure that you are right ready to go for the week. So tip number one is to, to just kind of take a quick, very quick debrief of the week before. And you know, did you seem to reach all of your goals? Did you get everything done that you needed to? And uh, if not, how do you need to adjust things in the coming week to make sure that you get everything done that needs to get done um, you know, for all of your goals? So that's number one. Number two is to identify your main projects and goals that you want to accomplish in the coming week. And write those down. Write down you know, whatever, whatever those main things are that you want to get done in the coming week and then how you're going to achieve them throughout that coming week. Number three is uh, you can use different uh, emailing programs have these things built in or sometimes you need to use a third party but uh, there's a, a one I think is called unroll me or unroll.me, I think. Um, I can always look that up after and pop a link in the comments uh, just to double check. But there are ways that you can basically unsubscribe to all of these subscription things that you're on through email. You know, don't you feel like when you, you open up your email on Monday morning and you have like 50 of these messages that are just, you know, you're on some sort of mailing list and they're just gonna keep on sending them to you. Sometimes they come in multiple times a week. Sometimes they come in daily or monthly, whatever it is, they just seem to bog you down and then it's harder to concentrate on the things that actually need to get done when you have all of this junk email. So if you use the tools that are either built into your email program or this other one that I was that I heard about, uh, you can actually just unenroll just in one huge list. You can basically just click boxes unenroll me from all of these subscription emails. And then that way it'll take care of it. You don't need to go ahead and try to find that little link in the bottom of your email and click unsubscribe um, and then confirm it all and all that. You can go through and do it all in one, which is awesome. And then that way your week can be a little bit more productive so that you're not having to find your real emails amongst all of these other junk emails. Um, tip number four is to clean and organize your space. On Sunday night, if you can get yourself cleaned and organized uh, wherever it is that you're gonna be working or whatever area it is that you kind of prep to get ready in the morning, if you work outside of the home, anything you can do to make it so that it's a little bit more peaceful and organized and you're able to just you know grab things and know where everything is that will make it so much easier so do that on sunday nights so that your week coming is nice and smooth and tip number five is to set out and pack things that you need for the next day so in whether or not you work outside of the home or at home if you can prep whatever it is you're going to need to accomplish the task you have for the next day pack any snacks, you know, prepare any food ahead of time, anything that you can do this evening, you know, on a Sunday night, the night before to prep for the next day. So that all you have to do is grab and go, or, you know, you can start your day off smoothly and have things right ready to go for the day. That's perfect. And I'm just gonna give you a little bonus tip here that if you have, if you use daily to-do lists, which I suggest doing that, um, even if it's like five or six main items you wanna make sure to get done in a day, make your to-do list the night before. So prep your to-do list for tomorrow, tonight, so that you have it all right, ready to go, and it will be easier for you to just hop right in as soon as you get up in the morning and start checking things off of that list, you know, after you do them, of course. And if you, after, um, since I've given you these five tips and the bonus one, uh, I actually have a suggestion for you. I have 10, 
10 different meditations and affirmations that are good specifically for productivity. So since tonight's tips were a little bit about, um, you know, having your Sunday night to really prepare for the coming week um, so that you can be a little bit more organized and hopefully a little bit more um, productive, I have these affirmations and these meditations that I would love to send to you if you uh, would like them that will help even more. Some of these can be done in the morning when you first get up. Some of them can be done the night before so that you're kind of prepping your brain for the next day. And then there's even some that are perfect to have in the middle of the day so that you just kind of have that little uh, midday reset. You know, and each of these are, are very short little tidbits, but they are super helpful to get your mind in a place where you can really focus. So if you would like these 10 affirmations and guided meditations sent to you, just send me a quick message or comment below, whichever is easier for you. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Feel free to share this if, if you found, found it to be helpful and you think that others would also find it helpful, that would be great. So thanks again and have a great rest of your evening. Have a productive week to come.